Got that in your calendar yet? Oh, yeah. yeah. Kim's already working on the yeah. forecast. We're going to be there and the well, forecast. When I, when I saw that, you know, color the sky with sunshine, I thought, hmm, was that because I the disappointment last year with all the rain? Was that a subtle, like, a, and it better be dry this year? We're going to will it into being. <laughs> we're going to manifest that's, that's it into. That's exactly it. Listen, I'm all for it. Can we all please come together? Because last year it wasn't just rainy. Remember, it was cold, oh, too. It was just yeah. damp and cold. So, But at 313 day in the middle of March, it was 70 and sunny. Go figure. We've got uh, rain all over Metro Detroit right now. A little bit dry, uh, drying out in Monroe, but otherwise, uh, it's just pouring down rain all over the place. And it's been that way for several hours now. Hamtramck getting rain, Detroit. Occasionally, you might have it slack up a bit. But the roads are so wet that when you're driving, you know, it's tough to see. Uh, you know, visibility is definitely reduced with all that water on the roads. And it's not going to improve overnight tonight, although we won't get quite as much rain tomorrow as what we had today. And here's what we've had over the last 24 hours, over an inch and a half, 1.52 inches in Pontiac, 1.32 inches in Ann Arbor. Uh, if this had been snow, it would be over a foot of snow. So just to put that in perspective for you, it's a lot of water. Check those sump pumps, things like that, because uh, we do expect more rain tomorrow and the ground is very well saturated. So even if there's not water down there now, it could be a problem tomorrow. A lot of rain out to the east as well. So we believe it or not, we missed a good chunk of this rain that went to the east and northeast of us. But we're still getting the heavy rain here in Metro Detroit as we zoom in a bit closer, weakened a little bit as it crossed the Ohio border. But uh, definitely a soggy night here in Metro Detroit. And it's getting chilly too. 50 downtown, but only 46 in Howell, 43 in Lapeer and 47 in Monroe. Winds have shifted around. Now they're coming out of the north northwest and it's going to get a little colder for the day tomorrow. So showers continue through tomorrow. Next problem will be the wind gusting over 45 miles per hour and then rain chances going up for Sunday. But let's start with tomorrow morning and that morning commute. It will still be raining, but not as heavily as it was this morning, but there'll still be a lot of water on the roads. Late morning, early afternoon, more rain, and then by around 5, 6 o'clock, we start to see that rain clear out. It'll still be wet and kind of damp outside, but at least the heavy rain will come to an end. And then by Saturday morning at 7 a.m., mostly clear skies and a lot of sunshine. Wind advisory in effect until midnight tomorrow night starts at 8 a.m. tomorrow, and it is for all of Metro Detroit. So 7 a.m., winds will be gusting 25 to 30 miles per hour by 2 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. That's when the winds really pick up. They'll gust over 40 to 45 miles per hour. Saginaw Bay could see some 50 mile per hour wind gusts. 11 o'clock tomorrow night, 24 hours from now, it will still be gusty with 30 to possibly even 35 mile per hour winds and breezy for Saturday. So tomorrow night's Tigers game, it's going to be tough because it's still going to be really damp. The winds will be very high tomorrow. Temps will be in the 40s, but it should dry out. So whether there'll be a delay or whether they'll just, you know, I, I'm not sure. But at this point, just plan on it being a little chilly and windy and kind of damp. 46 degrees tonight, daytime tomorrow, 50 degrees. Looking ahead to the weekend, that double header on Saturday will be great, though. Sunshine, 62 degrees, and then very warm for Sunday, but a chance of showers and thunderstorms mainly in the afternoon and then 70s for next week. Sounds great.